Ladies of Climax, can you help a sister out? Maybe, maybe not. Let's talk about it. What's up, everybody out there? How you doing? Thank you so much for tuning in over here to Peppy's Point of View. I'm yours truly, Peppy. That's right. Instead of having the sunglasses on my head, I have them on my face because, baby, what I'm about to talk about is shady. It's shady, baby. It's shady. It's shady. It's really shady. But anyway, thank you guys so much for clicking that thumbnail. I welcome you new viewers, you returning viewers, and you subscribers. I thank you guys so much. Thank you so much for your support over here. And that's right. We're talking about the latest of Climax. Yes. And I am talking specifically about Joyce Fenderella Irby of Climax. Yes, she's a singer, songwriter, she's a producer, and she is a manager. That's right. She has managed artists such as uh, Sammy Lloyd, Dallas Austin. Like, the lady is phenomenal. I promise you she is. And there's a story behind this and the reason why I'm doing this, and I will share that with you, okay? Um, matter of fact, let me do this real quick. So this here is actually an autographed picture. Yes, personal note to yours, truly me. Yes, thank you so much, George Spinderella Irby. Yes, she uh, sent this to me uh, a while back, actually. Oh, gosh, yes, I should never have moved it. Oh, gosh, I don't even know where how I had it placed. But anyway, mm, bring it up just a little bit more probably. But anywho, baby, let me tell you, child, let me tell you. So let me tell you about how I uh, received this autograph picture real quick, just real quick. So there I am. I'm following her on Facebook, okay? And she's posting things about this book. She has a book out called I Still Say Yes. She's posting, you know, little snippets from the book, so on and so forth, that I was like, oh, my gosh, I don't believe that, so on and so forth, right? So, you know, a person such as myself, you know, I'm going to leave a comment. And guess what she did? And if you said she responded back to me, then that would be absolutely correct. She responded back. Oh, my gosh. You guys, I didn't know what to think. I was like, oh, my gosh, she's talking back. You know, because some people on the social media pages, you know, they don't respond back. And that's why I try to sometimes respond back over here on YouTube. I really, truly do. And so I wasn't knowing if it was her responding back or if it was someone on her team responding back. It didn't matter. It was the fact that I got a response to my comment and the question that I had asked. Well, you don't do a person like this, such as myself. You don't do that to me. You don't respond back to my comment because guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to respond back. And so that's what happened. She responded. I, I, I asked another question about it. Then she responded back. I asked another question. She responded back. I asked another question. You see what I'm saying? And so we had a little dialogue going on. I was like, what? I was like, okay, Joyce. Like, I, I, I was like, oh my gosh, I, I don't believe this. But anywho, so that's what happened. And I'm here to tell you as far as Facebook or social media etiquette is concerned, um, I would say she was very, you know, approachable, you know, and, and all of that jazz. And so when I got the book, okay, uh, and I started reading, I was like, well, since I don't know anything about it, I guess I'm going to talk about, you know, the latest of Climax from George Fenderella Irby's experience uh, in the group. And, you know, it is what it is. So, but guess what? Here's another thing that I didn't think about. Glad y'all brought that up. Another thing. The latest of Climax, except for Shura Cooley, 
who, by the way, you know, she's trying to, you know, get the five finger discount from a creative standpoint, if you understand what I'm saying. I mean, it's the five finger discount when you try to discount other members in the group by, you know, allegedly. Y'all making me tired out there. I got to do a lady. So, oh, Lord, I just tell you, I'll just be. Oh, Lord, just bear with me, people out there, because I'm here to tell you, you know, let me just say allegedly, even though it's out there in, in the streets, you know, she has tried to take the rights of the trademark from the ladies of Climax. She has actually tried that. And she's still trying. So it looks like she is not a part of the... Um, Hmm. I guess the reunion that is occurring right now. Yes, if you go over to uh, Joyce's Facebook page, you go over to Bernadette Cooper's Facebook page. The two ladies are there. They're working on new material. Hopefully an album will be out. And if you are, you know, a, a person such as myself who was, uh, you know, experienced the 80s, then you would definitely have to understand that the ladies of Climax, Bernadette Cooper and all those ladies were a big Thing. Yes, it was. It was just like it's experiencing Morris Day of the time. And also, now that I think about it, I don't think there's another band, an all-girl band, an all-girl um, African-American band uh, like Climax. And the only other band I could think of would be uh, the Go-Go's and, you know, Belinda Carlisle and all those ladies over there. Now, it could be them. But at the end of the day, it is what it is on that. I just can't think of another one. And you might say a taste of honey, but they were in a band as much as a duo, but they did play instruments, so I don't know. But anyway, I'm just here to tell you what I'm just trying to talk about. It's just what it is. So anyway, yes, so in the spirit of Bernadette, you know, we have to bring a little drama over here, right? Okay, put the sunglasses on. Yes, uh -huh, I got my feet Versace sunglasses on. Baby, because what I'm about to read to you in here is mm, shady, shady, shady. Now, I also have to say this before I continue. And this is what I want to tell you. I'm just telling you. Whew. I don't want this to be something kind of negative because the ladies of Climax are getting back together again. But of course, Joyce has this book out. So it's not necessarily negative. Don't take it that way. But it is interesting what I'm about to read to you. All right. Of course, you know, I'm going to be reading more of this book. It's the summer. I got, I got some time. I have some time on my hand. You know what I'm saying? And what better time, you guys, to spend than around an R&B diva? You know, that's what I talk about over here, you know, the R&B divas. And I'm already eight minutes into this thing, and you know I try not to go over a certain length of time. So let's just go ahead on and let's talk about it. Shall we? I'm on page 74. Y'all read it? You read it? Okay. You read it? I still say yes. Go out and get it. And when you do purchase this book, by the way, and I know you're going to purchase it because it's just that good, then go over to Joyce because she's not, she doesn't know I'm doing this. I don't think she does at this moment in time. But anyway, go over there and tell us I was over there at Pepe's point of view. And he's talking about your book. But don't just do that. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to go over to Amazon. I want you to hit the link, baby. I want you to purchase the book. I promise you I got my book in less than a week. I did. Go get it. Still say yes. Ow. <laughs> All right. Y'all ready for the shade? All right. It seemed to me that Burns sometimes judged people by how they look or what they had including members of our band. I'm trying to get the book in position. Y'all just hold on. Her words and behavior suggested that she considered herself exceptionally attractive, as many women do. And when she said things like, I'm just too good for you people, I believe she meant it. And that included the band. More than once, she said, I know what the people want. And what the people wanted was burn and more burn. Mm. Soon enough, by the end of 85, she started to have conflicts about our live performances because she felt that how she, we looked was more important than how we sounded. The rest of us agreed that both were important. As women, we are held to a higher standard for our appearance as female musicians. We must strive for excellence as haters lie in wait to strike 
Lorena, or Lorena, I think it's Lorena though, right? Said it this way. Byrne was so preoccupied with the visual of it all, she lost sight of the sound. So during live performances, the parts of the show that didn't center on Byrne became a problem. She do something that will force attention back to her as she argued about dropping certain parts out of the show. Because of Byrne's insistence, we stopped doing our top 20 pop single, I Still Say Yes, which I sang with Howard Hewitt. Child, speaking of stop singing songs, uh, you know, I'm shocked at this one. I promise you, I'm shocked. And I think about In Vogue, you know, In Vogue, Terry Cinder, Dorn, and Maxine, you know, the original four, you know, sometimes when they get back together again, and Dawn is, you know, a part of that reunion. Guess what happens? Dawn and the ladies allegedly end up telling Dawn that she can't sing Don't Let Go Love. Ain't, isn't that shady? I'm just saying it's just, I don't know why I brought that up. But anyway, and why would you take out I Still Say Yes? It's a top 20 song. Now, we'll talk more about that. Mm-hmm. One of Burns' classic arguments against it was that it's about quality, not quantity. Ooh, what the F? She wanted us to use the time to put more focus on herself. Let me get this book back in view. Go out and get it now. Her reasoning suggested that her freestyle commentary was more important than almost anything, especially anything that included me singing. She already been talking quite a bit during the show. She was a drummer who didn't want to play much drums. So we added another drummer, Cookie Dean, Maria Martinez, uh, Cheryl Harper, in order to free her up to be up front more, where she felt she belonged. We thought so too, but within reason, she did decide to play drums on I Miss You since there was no way we weren't going to do that song even if it meant that my vocals were the focus of the show for five minutes. So she added a loud drum roll during a quiet part at the beginning of the song to bring attention to her to her once more. Lucky for her, the dynamics worked. Her spontaneity was getting wilder during our performances, and we were left to question her motives. Sometimes she would just start running all over the stage, flailing her arms, and we wouldn't know which way she was going. Imagine me trying to prevent her from accidentally tripping over or disconnecting my bass guitar cable. Lorena recounted once, I forgot where the show was, Lorena said, but it was when she had became extra fabulous, everyone was catering to her and she was doing the James Brown thing. I remember it well too, since I was the one who would throw the cape on her and then she would knock it off and I would put it back on her again. Then Lorena would run over to help Byrne get up while she acted like she was struggling to regain her footing. Before one show, Lorena remembered, the rest of us got together and decided she'd gotten out of hand. Normally, during the show, we would gather and fawn all over her, helping her up. But this time, when she fell on the floor that night, we weren't going to lift her up. We were going, we were just going to turn around. Lorena laughed, just remembering it. That was the most hilarious thing ever because she was like, what's going on? As she tried to get herself up off the floor, yes, I think that might have been the beginning of the end. Cha. You know, thinking about this, number one, all right, why would you remove a top 20 pop hit out of your stage performance, all right? And I, I don't, of course, I wouldn't know the, the uh, song set to think, but a person such as myself, I would think meeting in the ladies' room, uh, the men all pause. Uh, I miss you. Divas need love too. Sexy. 
some of those songs, I have five that I could count right now that I would probably think would have been a part of the set. All right. So uh, I still say yes. You would take, I still say yes out of the lineup. Come on. And then it's a top, then, oh, it's a top 20 pop hit at that. Child. But you know what? It's 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 interesting to think now, you know, about this situation when it comes to, you know, uh, uh, Bernadette Cooper, because I have to be honest with you guys, as a fan of Climax, I would have to agree with Bernadette Cooper that we were definitely checking for the Grand Diva, okay? You know what? I'm just too, 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 too good for you people. I mean, we were definitely, you know... <laughs> Slap me. I'm not in the mood. You understand what I'm saying? Like, we love that in the songs. It is. I mean, we love that attitude. So Bernadette Cooper is correct that we do cater to her probably because of that. And we love it. But at the same time, you have to also keep in mind that people love that. But we also love the song. And for you to take out, I still say yes. You know, I still say, I, I don't know. It, you know, in hindsight, it's 2020, right? But I would like to think that they could have done a whole lot more than to, you know, remove one of the songs out, out of the group. I, uh, that's just me. You know, and thinking about someone like a Bernadette Cooper, you know, who definitely can give you that feel, you know, like, uh-uh, I don't want to do that anymore. You understand what I'm saying? Attitude? What do you mean? Who's got an attitude? <laughs> you know, if I'm thinking I'm, if I don't think I'm looking good, who's going to think I'm looking good, look good? <laughs> okay, I'm nice. <laughs> I love it. I'm seriously, I do. I love it. But now if it's a new, if the climax is getting back together again, this is what I'm thinking that they should do for a show. So Climax, Bernadette Cooper, instead of taking songs out of the show, right? Bernadette can come up with different kind of themes and concepts to introduce the song, right? Don't take the songs out. You know what? If you want to be more upfront, then baby, get to them intros, burn. Get to them intros, baby. You understand what I'm saying? Do them intros. You know what I'm saying? Like those intros that she do. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, in the beginning of the songs, like uh, what is it called? Uh, the men all pause. Yeah. You know, like those intros, the intros to the song, I look good. Come on out with a good, fabulous intro, an introduction. Introduce the songs, Bernie. That's how you get more involved in it. And you can have it, baby. You can have my idea. It's climax, my climax. You can still do that today. So that's number one. Number two, here's the thing that I was thinking about with climax. Um, now, burn. Baby, this is, I'm, I'm just saying, I burned out. This is when I got to talk to you. You know, you know, we're going to talk. Diva the diva. We're going to talk. <laughs> Who is paying these drummers? <laughs> I'm just saying, like, is the money coming out of Climax's pocket or is the money coming out of, you know, your pay? I'm just saying, I just, we got to, because I'm bringing up that Involve story again. Y'all know Involve? You know, like, I'm just saying, you know, like, like, where that money coming from? You know, like, who? So we splitting our money with this drama that you trying to bring in to replace you? See that I don't know. I mean, called Bernie, you do what you do so well. Is it you know what? Isn't that interesting? You have a drummer who's a very fabulous drummer. I mean, she's an awesome drummer, but she also is. See, now that I think about it, Bernie, Bernie, that you was burn. Now that I think about it, was definitely in a complex, complicated situation. You understand what I'm saying? She was definitely in a complicated situation. And I don't think now hindsight 2020, now that I'm thinking about it, like, yeah, that's conflict because here I am, I'm a drummer and it's unfortunate for Bernie, but Bernie, who can I call her Bernie? Uh, the grand diva. I know she'll be okay with that. It's unfortunate that the grand diva, you know, she, she's such a talented musician. She's up front and it's not like it's the guitar. 
you ladies can be up front because it's the good tar. She wants to be able to, you know, be out front and shine as well. And she doesn't play an instrument, unfortunately, that has her that she can play and still be out up front. So now that I'm thinking about it, I, I, I would have to think now just within my spirit now. I would just have to think that I don't think that she was being difficult on that. But maybe she was being difficult by trying to, you know, just be grandiose and all over the place and not thinking about her own, you know, uh, 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 well-being as far as tripping off a stage or tripping over or knocking into something, you know. So maybe that was, yes, honestly, a tad bit too much. But, yeah, that's another thing that I want to think about, you know, in the group. (laughs) But can you help a sister out? Like, you know, sometimes, you know, people can go too far and not really and truly think about, oh, God, see, God is good over here. My God, he's good. Because people sometimes they get so involved in themselves and get so involved in doing that they don't realize that there are some other things that are happening that uh, other things that help everything kind of be gelled together where you are not really truly being considerate of those things. Case of point, baby, they're a part of the show and they're a part, they, 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 they're they helping you do X, Y, and Z. They're helping you put the cape on. You can't do it by yourself. You see what I'm saying? You're not the only band member in the band who's playing the songs, who's writing the hit song and so forth. And yes, you're attitude people love and it's over the top and people are definitely coming out to see that but at the end of the day there's a lot of components in it that makes it work the word is thank you so much for your helping me thank you so much for being a part of this i appreciate you you know so much and i might need to be more considerate of that and back off a little bit See, you get grand over here. Yeah. Well, what do you guys think? Do you think that, you know, the ladies of Climax should have left Burn down there on the ground, you know, trying to get up for herself? Or do you think that maybe they should have allowed her, you know, picked her up and said, okay, now you get down there next time. Now, I'm here to tell you, like, we done. Enough is enough. Now, you go out there if you want to. We won't be out there pulling you back up. I don't know what you're going to do. (laughs) That was, I don't know if it was shady. I don't know if it was petty. I don't know what. But I do know one thing. There's a lot of things in this book that is good. I also know another thing, too, that if you got to this part of my commentary, I think that it is more than appropriate for you guys, for me to ask of you guys to go ahead on and click that thumbnail. Excuse me, click that thumbnail. Click uh, uh, the subscribe button over here at uh, Pepe's Point of View, where we mainly talk about R&B divas, but I definitely would talk about some entertainment news, and we got some entertainment news that I want to keep talking about. You know, so it's coming up in some more videos. I promise you it's coming up in some more videos. Mm, okay? But anywho, enough of all of that. I'm just here to tell you guys. I mean, it's this, this, this is getting a little too much, but, you know, I'm just saying. Also, too, uh, I'm also working on uh, my website. Uh, Hopefully soon it'll be out, uh, up and running, published in the near future. I am. And also, too, you guys, feel free to follow me on my social media platforms uh, out there. I'm also encouraging people. You know, I know some people probably get a little confused and follow me, try to follow me on my personal Facebook page. However, I prefer if you would follow me and like my uh, uh, Peppy's page, okay? Peppy's point of view page. I appreciate that because I'm trying to get everything moved over there and then moved over to the website. You know, y- y'all know what I'm trying to do. But anywho, on that note, you know, I also believe over here, you guys, including myself, we must put our behind where our heart desires to be. I hope that you're doing that out there. And also, too, whenever I leave my mother's presence, she always says to me, she says, baby, remember, I love you, but God loves you best. Mm -hmm. He loves you out there. I'm here to tell you, the Lord, he loves you. Mm -hmm. Yes, Mm -hmm. he loves you now. And make sure that you love yourself. I'm here to tell you, you got to love you. 
Love you now. Mm -hmm. And also, too, I'm looking forward to seeing you guys next video. And on that note, you guys take care of yourselves out there now. All right.